Good morning, everybody. We'll just wait a couple more minutes to see if anyone else comes. Hi. Hi. How is everyone today? Give me a thumbs up if you're good. Oh, that's awesome. Love that. Now, all you'll need today is a basketball and a little bit of space. And if you're outside on um, hard ground, you might need a towel or a mat or something that you can put your hands on so that your hands don't get sore. All right. Now, if you don't have your camera on, it would be awesome if you could turn your camera on so that I can see you and help you guys with some technique with some of the things that we're gonna be doing. All right, so we are going to start just by getting nice and warm. So, oh, and I'll just let you know, I've got a little bit of an injury, so I'm not gonna be able to do much of this, but I'm gonna be able to show you and I will be here to encourage you all. All right, so. To start with, we don't need a basketball. Everybody standing up. We're just gonna start. Oh, you can't see my head. We're just gonna start with some jogging on the spot. So getting those legs moving. Awesome work. All right, now let's bring it into butt kicks. And high knees. So drive your knees up as high as you can. Back to butt kicks. And high knees again. And butt kicks. All right, now we're gonna squat down and stand up. Make sure your knees are in line with your toes. Looks like you're sitting down on a chair. All right, now what we're gonna do, set one foot forward, lunge down, step back and switch legs. Awesome job guys, so we're lunging here now. On your way down and up, I want you to make sure that your knees are in line with your toes. Awesome work, Reed, way to correct that. So, we're here, step forward, lunge down, step back. Step forward, lunge down, step back. So from the side, we're here. Awesome work, a couple more. And back to some squats, but this time we're gonna add in a little bit of a jump. So we're down, a little bit of a jump. Not too high, just getting those legs moving. Awesome work. So as you jump, I want you to land back in that squat. So don't jump, pause, and then go down. It's jump, absorb it, then go again. Awesome work. All right, now we're gonna go back to lunges, but this time we are going to add in a little jump. So we're here, lunging, switch legs. Good work. Just watch your knees, Talia. Make sure they're in line with your toes. So if you need to go slower, that's perfectly fine. Good work. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's bring it in, everybody. We have got a tricky session today, but it should be lots of fun. All right, so 
I've just posted something in the chat. It says AMRAP number one. Now, AMRAP means as many reps as possible. So you start at the top. Our first exercise is 10 push ups. So if you can't do a proper push up on your knee, on your toes, what I want you to do is go onto your knees, make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and your back is straight. So I don't want to see this and I don't want to see this. So straight back, go all the way down and all the way up. Okay. So we've got 10 push ups. That's pretty self explanatory. Then we're standing up for 10 jump squats. So a jump squat. We squat down, notice that my knees are pointing outwards instead of inwards. So I'm not doing this. Knees are here, then I'm exploding up, coming back down, and that's a jump squat, okay? So 10 of those. Then we've got 10 shoulder taps. So we're in a planking position. So again, hands under shoulders, our legs are out straight behind us, and we're in a straight line. So see my body, I'm not up like this, and I'm not down like this. And then we're tapping our opposite shoulder. Okay, so one tap, I'll show you from the front. Just like this. Okay, now I want you to minimize the amount of movement that happens with your body. Okay, try and stay as still as possible. Then um, we've got 10 jump lunges. So we're here. Same thing as we did in our warm up, we're just jumping and switching legs. Okay. And every jump is one. Now, I'm going to set a timer for three minutes. And I want to see how many times you guys can get through these four exercises in that time. Okay, I really want you to push yourselves, but I also want you to focus on your technique. Does Put your thumb up if you understand. Sideways if you're a bit, uh, thumbs down if you just have no idea what I'm talking about. Awesome. All right. Time is starting in th five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So you've got 10 push ups. Awesome work. So try and get down as deep as you can. Once you've done those 10 push ups, you're getting into 10 jump squats. Awesome work, Summer. Keep those knees out as you jump up. That's better, good work. After 10 jump, stop, jump, jump squats, you're coming back down into a plank position. You've got shoulder taps. Make sure you try and keep your body as still as possible. Awesome work, everyone. And on those jump squats, I want you to make sure that, sorry, on your jump lunges, I want you to make sure that you're getting depth with it. So even though we're going to, we're trying to go fast, we want to make sure that we are going with the correct technique as well. So just watch those knees read when you're doing those super fast jump lunges. Awesome work, everyone. Zach, I think you can get a little bit lower in those squats. All right, that is a minute and 20 seconds down. We are almost halfway. Keep going, guys. Awesome job. Nice, Sienna. Keep those hands underneath your shoulders. We don't want them out in front of us. That's a better way to correct it. Nice push up, Summer. Awesome work, everyone. We have got 50 seconds to go. See if you can get through this round. So, one more round. Good job, Ava. Keep going, keep going. Nice, Talia. Good work. 30 seconds to go. Awesome work, everyone. Keep going. You're about to get a break. So work as hard as you can for this next 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. All right, grab a quick drink, everybody. That was a good warm up. All right, now 
our next am wrap so we're doing another as many reps as possible is oh hang on i hope everyone can see that in the chat i've made a little bit of a spacing error there but we've got 30 right hand pounds so that's pretty self-explanatory we're down in our stance now i don't want to see anyone doing this i don't want to see any hands on our legs and i definitely don't want to see any of this okay so down in our stance we've got 30 pounds with our right hand okay now i don't want to see little dribbles that aren't very strong i want to see you working really hard and pounding that ball into the floor then after we have got after we've done our 30 pounds we've got 10 star jumps so we're standing up 10 star jumps okay then down into 30 left hand pounds so we're down as low as we can go same thing pounding that ball then we've got 10 star jumps again then we're into 30 crossovers so down nice and low crossing the ball from side to side i don't want to see this and I definitely don't want to see this, okay? So keep that ball low, get it wide, make it strong, okay? Then we've got 10 star jumps. Then we've got 30 between the legs. Now, how we do this one, if you can, I want you to switch your legs and jump like this. If that's too hard for you, you can take a dribble, then go between, okay? Then we've got 10 star jumps again, and our last one is 30 behind the backs. So we're down nice and low. We've got behind the back crossovers. Oop. Now, what I want you to think about with this is don't stand up tall. We want to be in our stance. The ball is underneath our bum. Okay. Then we finish it up with 10 star jumps. So we've got 30 of each of the dribbling and then 10 star jumps in between every exercise. Does that make sense? All right, so everyone stand up and grab your basketballs. <clears throat> it's in the chat if you forget what comes next. All right, now for this one, we have got five minutes. Ready, set, let's go. Awesome work, everybody. Pound that ball. Really good job. Make sure you're staying down in your stance and that your eyes are up. I am loving that speed, Cody. Awesome job. Actually, both Cody's. We've got two Cody's here. Cody Lee and Cody Miller. Awesome work, everyone. Good job, Summer. Make those crossovers a little bit stronger. That's better. Good. Good, Sarah. Love that ball control. Stay down nice and low in your stance, Talia. Good job, Kira. Pump out those star jumps. We are a minute down. We've got four to go. Awesome work, everybody. Good job, Reed. Good work. Try to stay really low when you're doing the between the legs ones. Keep that ball low and control it. Ava, awesome control. I love that. So switching your feet each time on the, on the between the legs. Nice, Sienna. Really good. Good job, Talia. Awesome work. We are almost two minutes down. Zach, make those crossovers bigger and those star jumps. So even though we're going fast here, I want you to focus on technique. I want you to get the most out of these dribbles. So Zach, switch your legs each time on that one. All right, we are halfway, everybody. Two and a half minutes to go. Really push yourselves here. It's only two and a half minutes of your life. Then you get a drink. Awesome work, Reed. Way to work hard.
Great job, everyone. Nice summer, nice ball control. Good job, Talia. Awesome, Cody Lee. Awesome, Cody Miller. Oh, actually, Cody Lee and sisters, I should say. We have got one minute and 20 seconds to go. See if you can get through three more exercises. So three more dribbles, dribble um, combos and three lots of star jumps. Nice, Ava, awesome work. One minute to go. Good job, Kira. Pound that ball. Awesome work, everybody. Keep going. Great job, Sienna. Way to have those eyes up. I love seeing that. Reid, I think you can get your eyes up on those dribbles. We've got 50 seconds to go. Awesome work, everyone. Make sure you don't cut corners. Do all of these exercises to the best of your ability. We've got 20 to go. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Keep going, everyone. Five, four, three, two, and one. Have a rest, grab a drink. Okay. I'm about to post the next one. And while you're having a little rest, I'm gonna explain it. So this is our last AMRAP for the day. So doing as many reps as we can, and it's gonna be another five minute one. So our first one is going to be cross between. So we'll start with the ball in our right hand. It's cross between. Okay, so cross it over in front between the legs. Now, if that's too hard for you, you can cross it over, take a dribble, then go between, okay? We've got 15 of them. So cross between is one, two, three. Now, do you notice that I'm not just dropping the ball here and doing really little dribbles to do it really fast? I'm crossing it over really far to make the most of it. I want you to focus on that. Now, after you do that, we've got two explosive jumps. Now, an explosive jump, we are going to bend down knees, get down nice and low, and I want you to jump up as high as you can. When you land, I want you to land with soft ninja feet. So jump up really high, land softly, okay? Doing that twice. Then we do the same one, dribbling, but on our other hand. So ball starts on my left, cross between, Oop. Okay, for 15. Then we go back into our explosive jumps. Then we've got 15 cross between behind. So what that means is it's cross between behind the back, switch it over, cross between behind the back. Okay, for 15. So cross between behind is one. Then we've got two more explosive jumps. Then our last two dribbling ones, these are a bit trickier. We're gonna go between behind. So I've got the ball on my right hand to start with. It's between behind, Oop. between behind, straight back to between behind. Can't dribble today. Okay, now if that's really tricky for you, just go between, you can take a dribble, then behind, then you can take a dribble. Okay, we've got 15 of those. Then two explosive jumps, then same thing, starting with the ball on the other side. So between, behind. Okay, and we finish with two explosive jumps. Does anyone have any questions about that? Thumbs up if you've got it. Thumbs sideways if you're a little confused. All right, awesome. Now, everybody stand up. We are starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So we've got cross between to start. Awesome work. Eyes up, everybody. Now, I want you to move your feet on this. Nice jump, Summer. 
Good. Now you can hold on to your basketball when you do your explosive jumps. You don't have to put it down. That way it'll make you a little bit quicker. Good, Zach. Get that crossover all the way across your body. Really exaggerate it. Imagine there's a defender in front of you and you're trying to get past them. So we're doing this for a purpose. We're not just doing this to dribble. Imagine there's someone in front of you. You need to try and get past them. Awesome work. So you can hold on to your basketball when you do those explosive jumps. Eyes up, everybody. I'm seeing a few eyes down. Good. Find something in front of you. Look at it with your eyes and focus on that. It might be a tile in front of you. It might be a brick on the, on the wall of the house. It might be a picture in front of you. It might be the, your device. But look at something. Awesome work. We are a minute and a half down. We've got three and a half to go. Nice dribbling, Sarah. Good. Now really pound that ball when you're doing the between the behind. That will help you to get it back around to go between again. There we go. Nice and strong. Awesome work. Hey, awesome big jumps, Reed. That was great. Really good. Nice, Kira. Really control that ball. Hey, Ava, on those explosive jumps, I want you to get higher. So I want you to absorb it a little bit and explode up. Yeah, so when you do it next time. Nice one, Talia. Now that's an explosive jump. Awesome. Zach, keep that ball lower. Low and wide. That's better. Nice, Summer. Really work as hard as you can here, guys. We are halfway. We've got two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Nice one, Reed. Great jumps. Oh, we've got a runaway ball there, Kira. <laughs> That's annoying. Nice explosive jumps there, John T and Co. I don't know both of your names, sorry. Awesome work, everyone. We have got two minutes to go. <laughs> it's always a runaway ball. <laughs> Kira, well, it, when you finish your dribbling and you go to do your jumps, just hold on to it instead of putting it down. Awesome work, everybody. Eyes up. I'm seeing some eyes down. We've got a minute 30 to go. Let's go. Work really hard here. Remember that you're putting in the work for you. So you, if you cut corners and you don't do it properly, you're only cheating yourself. So you only get as good as the amount of effort that you put in and how hard you want to work. Awesome job, eyes up. We've got one minute to go. See if you can get through three more dribble exercises. I reckon that'll be a bit challenging. Good job, Sarah. Awesome way to control the ball. Really good, everybody. 50 seconds to go. I know your legs are tired. I know your arms are sore, but keep going. You've got this. <clears throat> Awesome work, everyone. We've got 30 seconds to go. Keep going. Way to stay down nice and low, Ava. That's great. Good job, Kira. Keep going, everyone. I know your legs are sore, but keep making those jumps explosive. 15 seconds. That's it. See if you can get through this one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. Grab a drink, everyone. All right. Give me a thumbs up if that was hard. Love it.
Whose arms are sore? Whose legs are sore? Yeah. I did that one the other day and my legs, whoo, they were feeling jelly after that, but that's a really good feeling, I think. All right, now we are going to do a little bit of ab work. So strengthening up our core to finish off. So I'll show you what our two exercises are and then, um, and then we'll get started. So our first one, we're gonna be laying down on our backs our knees are in the air. Uh, sorry, our legs are in the air bent, so I don't want them straight and I don't want them touching the floor. So our feet are parallel to the ground. So that means that they're opposite the ground. So not up here, not down here. My knees aren't in really close or out really far. They're just above my hips. I've got two hands in the air like this. And what I'm going to do is lower one leg and the opposite hand. So I'm going to lower my left leg and my right hand, and then come back to that same position. So lowering and coming back. Now, this is meant to be done really slowly. And what I want you to focus on is not letting your lower back lift off the ground. So you should be able to feel your back on the ground, touching the floor the whole time, okay? Now, our second one is going to be a side plank. So I will give you, actually, yeah, a side plank. So we're going to get up into a side plank. So my elbow is underneath my shoulder. I'm going to be up on my feet like this. So I'm holding myself up. Now, I don't want to see you sinking down like this. Really push those hips up to the sky. Okay. So that's, there are our two exercises. Then we'll go back to doing our dead bugs, which is the first one that we did. And then we'll do our plank on the other side and then we're done, all right? So we are going to do 15 dead bugs. Actually, let's make it 16. So 16 dead bugs. So everyone laying down on your back. So that's that one, yep. And I'm gonna just help you with technique. So when you're ready, let's go. So this is meant to be done really slowly. So this is not a race. So Zach, I want you to keep both legs in the sky the whole time. Bent, yeah. Now I want you to have your arms up in the sky pointing to the ceiling. Now really slowly, I want you to lower your left hand behind your head and your right foot in front of you. Yep, yeah, but really straight. Yep, yeah, almost. That's better, good. Good work, Cody. Way to help out your sisters. So Talia, when you do it, we're not, we're not reaching our head up. Our head stays flat the whole time. It's just our arms and our legs that move. So we're here, okay? We'll give that a try. All right. There we go, awesome. Okay, now once you have finished your 16 dead bugs, we're gonna get into our side plank. So I'm gonna time for 30 seconds. So hop, oh sorry, 20 seconds. So hop up into your side plank, so on your side, and we'll all go at the same time. So ready, set, let's go. So holding up nice and high. So Zach, bring your hips off of the ground. Even more, so lift up really high. That's better, good, that's where we wanna hold. Awesome work. I love Cody Miller that you've got your hand in the air to help encourage you to stay up nice and high. That's a really good thing to do. Nice, Sienna. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. Okay, now we're going to go back and do our dead bugs again. So we've got 16 dead bugs. So take your time, really think it through. This is about coordinating your hands and your feet. So Reed, I want you to slow it down a little bit more. So really slow it down. That's better, good. 
Don't touch your feet to the ground. Your feet should be hovering the whole time. Good. Well done, everybody. That looks heaps better than the first time. So opposite hand, opposite leg. So you should feel your tummy burning. Now, once you've done your dead bugs, come up and have a little sit while we wait for everyone else to finish. And then we're gonna go onto the other side for our side plank. So same thing, but you're gonna be face on, on the other elbow. All right. Now, everyone, when you're ready, hop into your side plank position. So on your side. Yep, it's okay if you haven't quite finished all of the dead bugs. All right. We've got 20 seconds. Ready, set, let's go. So hop down onto your elbow of the hand below you. So on your elbow. Yeah, that's better. Good. That'll make it a bit harder for you. Awesome work. 10 seconds down. We've got 10 to go. Then our workout is done. Seven, six, stay up, Ava. Five, four, you've got it, Kira. Three, two, and one. Awesome work, everybody. That one really burns. But doing the your side plank is a really, really good way to get really strong in your core. If we have a stronger core, so by core, I mean your tummy, the muscles in there, you try and tense your, your tummy so that it's hard, those muscles. If we can make those muscles really strong, it means that you've got a really stable base to work from. So it means that your arms and legs can move faster. So when you're running, when you're sliding to stay in front of someone, when you're jumping to get a rebound, you'll be so much stronger and faster, okay? So it's a really good one to work on and not many people do. So it's a good thing to keep in your brain. All right. Now, awesome job, everyone. I will leave you to it now. I hope you have a lovely Sunday and I hope that the weather doesn't turn too sour and that it doesn't start raining too much. But awesome job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. That's okay. Thanks, Abby. Bye. 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 Bye.